Teachers, businesses, and others in Smithville are remembering Officer Madrid Evans as a kind young man with a big heart. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live for us now at a restaurant where he used to work. Nathan, I'm sure the memories are really flowing there today. Yeah, people have been talking about him throughout the day all over Smithville, really. And uh, here at Chops Barbecue, uh, this was one of his first jobs uh, while he was still finishing up high school. And people here say he sort of became like family to them. And so, like many places around Smithville today, uh, people are hurting here. People around Smithville are feeling a loss today. This was a family member. Dan Uledal hired Blaze Madrid Evans at Chops Barbecue as a 17-year-old kid. He came in. Uh, I'm looking for a job. He started in the kitchen for quite a while there. He was one of my number one guys working the line. He remembers a hard-working young man with a kind heart who talked about pursuing a career in the military or other public service. You know, I was proud of him, and I knew he was going to do well. Whatever he, whatever he wanted to do, he was going to be the best he could be at it. The young man's school community is remembering him today, too. Jennifer Robinson and Stacy Sapp both worked with him as he was finishing up at Smithville High School in the Northland CAPS program. They showed us pictures of him volunteering at nursing homes and other places in the community. It was such a shock when I heard what had happened. I'm just proud of him and I'm, you know, I'm just sad this happened. It's, it's awful. Uladol and others want people to remember the young man they knew as a friend. It hurts to have a loss like this. The owner of CHOPS is also a former KCPD officer, and he says that he'll be here to support uh, the family or police groups uh, if, if they happen to need it here going forward. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. A lot of people grieving. Nathan, thank you.